Are you having trouble getting a job in cybersecurity, advancing your career in the field, or even just not knowing where to start? Well, my goal in the next few minutes is to analyze the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate and help you determine if this is the best right next move that you could take to do any of those three things. Now, the big difference in this review compared to any other old review out there is that I'm going to do my best to show you as much of the inside of this certificate as possible. That means when we're covering every single section, finding clips, looking inside, seeing the exercises and some of the course content, because I think that's one of the best, if not the best way outside of actually taking it to see if it fits your learning style and what will get you going in pursuit of this goal. All right, let's go. I'm going to approach this review from three main points. The first thing we'll talk about is certificate overview. This is things like the price, expected time length, how difficult it actually is, and some of the best benefits you could walk away with upon completion. The second part is the certificate content. What is actually inside? It is eight courses, and like I said, I'm gonna show you inside as much as I possibly can going through those eight. And then finally, in part three, my final review. The things I absolutely love that I saw inside the certificate, the things that I think have no place or just don't live up to the expectations, how it compares to a college degree, and like putting it all together, could this be right for some people? So certificate overview. The structure of this professional certificate is eight separate courses that are meant to be taken in chronological order. These are all done completely online, and you'll be taught by a combination of labs, critical thinking problems, readings, and a lot of video lecture series that you'll sit back and absorb and take notes through the process. The expected time length, according to Google, is about six months long, working seven hours a week part-time on this. Now, I think you could probably slash this in half, even though it's meant for beginners, and you are a beginner, I think with dedication and constantly advancing on this course, look for about three months of completion. And that is important because it costs $49 a month every month you're enrolled. So you can reduce the overall cost by taking the course quicker. Now I did come across another person who took the course in one week and they used the seven day free trial of this. You can click the first link in the description that will direct you to that as well. They got it done in seven days and didn't pay anything and got their certificate and got out. I don't see how that's possible, but I know you probably won't spend the full recommended six months taking this course. Let's talk difficulty level. It is meant to be from a beginner, zero level, working your way up to a very knowledgeable, competent person to discuss cybersecurity concepts in interviews and other such things. I would say that's accurate. This isn't as easy as some other Google courses out there on the market, but it's certainly on the easier side and very achievable for someone who is really not versed in the cybersecurity field yet. There are multiple benefits you'll walk away from this course, and aside from the learning objectives and skills that you can build, the big ones are really the LinkedIn certificate that you can post publicly and share, the Google job board that you get access to at the completion of the course, and also a 30% discount on the CompTIA Plus security examination, which we'll talk a little bit about later. That is all well and good, but I'm sure you're excited to see more about how this course is taught and the kind of learning environment you should expect to see on the inside if you decide to enroll. That's what this section is about. There are eight courses inside the certificate. I'm gonna go through one through eight quickly and give you an overview and show you some of those key learning moments. Course one is the foundations of cybersecurity. You will learn what skills make a top-notch cybersecurity analyst. You'll be learning definitions here and common tools and knowledge that you can work with that will set the foundation for the rest of the course. Course two is called Play It Safe, Manage Security Risks. This now pivots from the overview and dives into what it's like to be a cybersecurity analyst. You will look at business structure and the biggest points of weakness from a cybersecurity standpoint for most businesses. The biggest thing I like in this course is you'll see a playbook as to exactly how you can respond to threats, risks, or vulnerabilities, learning about security audits, how to report different incidents, and risk management framework, kind of a go-to guide for general problem solving 
in these roles. Course three is called Connect and Protect, and it focuses all about networks and network security. You will learn about network architecture, how operations within a network work, and securing against network intrusions. Course four starts to get more technical and I think is one of the bigger chunks of time you'll probably spend in the certificate. This is called Tools of the Trade, Linux, and SQL. You'll learn about command lines and you'll start to manage a file system using Linux commands. You'll actually work on a lab that the goal is to install and uninstall applications in a Linux system. You'll also learn how to make use of SQL to retrieve information from a database. Now we move into course five out of eight, assets, threats, and vulnerabilities. The goal from this course is to try to understand areas that could be subject to the biggest risk of attack and how to classify data and information accurately to guard those different areas at different levels of security. You'll create your own risk matrix and you'll learn about this concept too, and then produce and submit an assignment to show you understand kind of how this actually works. You'll also go right into another lab where you'll think critically and explain how to handle a data leak situation. In course six, which is called sound the alarm, detection and response, you'll go through exactly what happens in a security breach and the correct protocol for response. You'll look at how to understand and work backwards through different situations to see what may have happened and unravel the event to create a complete picture of it. Course seven is called Automate Cybersecurity Tasks with Python. This is working on understanding Python programming in cybersecurity. The first thing you'll do is hop into a lab that will work through Python in a cybersecurity scenario. You will get a pretty surface level understanding as to what exactly Python is and how it's used in cybersecurity. This isn't going to answer everything for you, but it is a good starting place to begin your learning process once you're done with the course. And finally, course eight highlights a common theme throughout all of this, which is job preparation. Okay, now you've seen a lot about this course. I'm gonna tell you my favorite things, what I think are the most beneficial, and then also things you'll see inside that really are not helpful, or you could probably find or do better somewhere else. The first thing that I noticed right away upon entering the course that I really like actually doesn't have anything to do with cybersecurity. This is all about what I call course management, and it's a time block system that allows you to set goals for yourself in your learning progress and actually even integrate times that you plan to learn into your calendar. For productivity nerds like me who are addicted to sorting and time blocking calendars, this is a great solution that Google created to keep learners on track, which is one of the hardest things to do in taking online certificates. The second overall thing, which I was honestly impressed by, is the success rate coming out of this course. Now it's got a high user rating, but Google has studied outcomes from taking this course and a surprising 75% of respondents said that they'd recorded a positive outcome within six months of going through this program. That could be a raise, a new job, or a promotion, but three out of every four is honestly quite outstanding for a certificate like this. The next thing you'll see is this course sets you up for success and actually doesn't just stay within itself you'll receive a 30% discount coupon to the TIA Security Plus examination, which I think is around $400. So that can be pretty significant. And if you do the math, taking this course as a study material for that examination, which is one of the industry standards in this area, it may be worth it or result in a cost savings for you. So that is something to really consider. And the last two things that I like is this is truly a beginner oriented course where someone without a huge cybersecurity background can take this and feel quite competent afterwards. The course explains you don't have to know everything, but you do get a foundation in the course and a lot of the teaching is very attainable going throughout. You'll feel confident and you'll feel ready to go and attack your next step after taking this. Now there's a few things I wanna tell you that I just don't love about this as well. One, even though you have set ways to be accountable in scheduling yourself, this course doesn't match up to any sort of real world instruction in that no one's keeping you accountable. You have discussion forums where you'll post and write about different topics and they just kind of get blasted out there and you'll submit different labs, but you won't get any real-time feedback that will motivate you to continue to become a better learner. 
I also didn't think this course connected as well with outside third-party resources as other Google certificates have done in the past. What I mean by this is Google is often linking you to different sites or forums or discussion communities where you'll continue your learning afterwards. This course still does that. You'll see that through all eight of them, but it doesn't do it quite as much as some of the other ones, just in my opinion. And the last two are just status. This is not recognized as much as the CompTIA Security Plus examination. That's kind of the standard and it's nowhere near a college degree. I would realistically compare this to a strong college class, albeit an introductory one for the value you're getting. Still at $49 a month, it is going to be cheaper than pretty much every college class out there that you could possibly take that would teach the same material as this one. Okay, my final review. You heard the course, you heard the overviews, you heard what you'll take with you. What do I actually think about this? So keep in mind, this is geared towards the total newbie. If you are more experienced in cybersecurity, unless you're just looking for another thing to put on LinkedIn or to add to your resume, it's probably not going to be as beneficial for you to take. I think the best way to approach this is to take it as a powerful tool to combine with the CompTIA Security Plus examination. Take the Google certificate first, then move on and use that as a study tool for the Security Plus exam. Those two things together will really help you move forward in your pursuit of advancement in these fields. So the bottom line is, if you're looking for a good starting point, keyword starting point that gives you a great foundation, there is no reason not to at least jump into the free trial of this course and see how you like it. I'll encourage you to keep up with it if you decide to go for it and launch it and finish it as fast as you can. Keep pushing and keep learning on your journey. As always, best of luck and thank you for watching. If you want to see any other course reviews or different ways to advance your career, check out the rest of the videos on my channel.